it is challenging. Uh, I think the saying that we're going into trying to understand a more complex environment um, that just makes your head spin. So I need to read the book. The necessity for multiple perspectives, but there isn't a single perspective, and that that any single perspective is by itself incomplete and therefore we really truly need other people not just to you know uh, be tools in my strategy but to help me think through what a strategy should be to, be to begin with for people who are making meaning making sense at this part of the you they're doing it at a, at a higher octave they're doing it at a higher altitude. They're doing it with a much greater complexity. So, yeah. Does that make sense? Does that work for you? Yeah. yeah. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kind of is actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take kind of. <laughs> I like the whole ladder and it's, uh, about the catalyst. And the, but what I really enjoyed was the questions. That was brilliant. So it was good questions. It's an interesting question. For whatever it is that we say, and that is an example of a deliberately developed mental conversation question. What's the nature of the thinking that generated that thought? Like what if you had people start to ask each other that kind of question, and if they, and if they, if they had like, like an understanding, at least a sufficient understanding, of these distinctions such that they could work intelligently with a question like that. How they constitute themselves as a leadership team, not a collection of leaders, you know, disparately uh, you know, doing their own thing, but a leadership team, a genuine team. What I mean by leadership is a leader is anyone willing to take responsibility for their world. It means that I'm willing to take responsibility, which means that I'm willing to take a stand for making things better, not just for me, but for the world around me. You're out in the middle of the ocean. You're going you're gonna to damn well want to have a compass to be guiding you so you don't get lost. <laughs> and this is the same notion of compass that I mean, but, that, but the source of the compass comes from inside of us. We just assume we can't predict the future, we assume that things will change, and we assume that cause and effect is inherently nonlinear. It's indeterminate. Therefore, we don't, tr we don't try to plan, we plan as we go. And for me, I think it was interesting to uh, see the things from a different lens. What I'm thinking right now is like the different development stages and trying to relate it with my team, with the leadership, and uh, how to develop it and take it to a next step. So, overall, uh, I think it was good learning for me, uh, how to adopt message as per the person, so people understand the message differently. So we have to understand them first and then adopt the message accordingly in order to get our message across. So that is my one of the takeaways. And of course, evolve agility is like a lot of new terms, uh, I'm still trying to digest it. Hopefully I will sit back and uh, get through it one more time to better understand that. Yeah. Leadership is a sense-making phenomenon. It's not what leaders do. It's the capacity for each of us who claim ourselves as leaders, our capacity to make sense of the complexity around us. I'm talking about growing minds. And by mind, by the way, I don't mean just this mind. I mean this mind and this mind and this mind. You know, we have three areas of centralized neural circuitry and this mind is the cognitive, thinking, analytical mind. This is the intuitive mind. And then down here is like, what's our stand? What is, we, what is it that we stand for? What is it that we'd be willing to give our lives for? That's what I, all three of those is what I mean by mind. If you look at your iPhone, if, if you try to run new apps on an old operating system, it's not going to work. Right? So the operating system, in a sense, determines the deep nature of the performance of any kind of system. So we sense something that's going on around us. We make sense of it in some way, and then we respond, and then we come back. And it's a cyclical kind of thing. At the part of it all, the kernel, the, the deepest aspect of all of this is our action logic. The deep sense-making capacity that we have, the, the, 
the, it's, it's essentially an unconscious activity that goes on inside of us. I have so much thinking in my head right now because I think it's really interesting to go into this personal phase uh, stage development for different um, circumstances, but the institutionalized way of thinking of it, I don't really think, like, as I said in my question or in my, my reflection out loud, that is applying to everybody that's in the same environment that development stages just go further on because some people just sticks at one stage and some people go further and, and I think it's really interesting just to, to think about why we don't understand this, uh, each other in some different situations and conversations that we can't really comprehend everything that somebody sees something that others can't really explain or, or get their head, head wrapped around. And I've, I can see myself for sure when I'm having those kinds of conversations with some people that I don't really get what they're talking about, but I sense there is something in it. And in some way I get myself clearly uh, uh, communicated, I get, I, I guess, but, but, but they don't understand me. So, so this action logic and this operational system upgrades, that's really interesting. So the deliberately developmental ecosystem, it operates with respect to ourselves, or so growing ourselves developmentally. It also operates in terms of, re of our relationships, like how our relationships are, how we are in our relationships with each other, and then the systems, the larger systems that we exist in. So the deliberately developmental ecosystem operates across all three of these. We, we have to abandon the old paradigm of thinking about leaders as only those people at the top. Rather, that we are all leaders. Everything was interesting. And um, uh, there were a couple of things uh, in the beginning that uh, I think I'm going to incorporate in uh, some of the materials that I have myself. Yeah, I, I really like the idea that, for example, today will be a state experience. And in the book, he's basically saying, this fades away. So you have to find ways to like, you know, maintain it somehow. So I think that's, that's what I like, would try to do. When I started writing my book about two years ago, that this is not just for people in organizational leadership positions. It's for all of us. It's for everybody.